Welcome back to Canid. It's good to be back, and I hope everyone had a good Valentine's Day. I had to work, so I couldn't do anything special. What did you do last night? Um, with the Golden Girls, we were at the basketball game last night dancing. And for those of you who did, who did not show to the game, we danced with Mrs. Oh my gosh, we danced with Mrs. Kurth, and she did phenomenal. She did a great job, and the boys did a phenomenal job as well. So you guys missed out. Today, as you can tell, is college attire, and I'm wearing a Mizzou shirt because I love Mizzou. Love all, everything about it. What about you? And I am wearing a Genesis Health Clubs t-shirt because my college next year will be personal training at Genesis. So if you guys need a personal trainer, I will be there. And then I have Mississippi State because that is my favorite college team. Tomorrow is pit crew or squad day. And then on Friday is gold rush. So if you have a court warming shirt, Friday is the day to wear that. Friday, the Ellen Pro Start team spent all day at the Johnson County Community College Bi-State Culinary Competition. The students were wonderful. They earned a silver medal and ranked fifth out of 17 career, technical, and conventional high schools. Congratulations to Luke Lecce, Adam Larson, Abby Wigand, Damon Helms, and Cole Norman. And as Lindsay said, there was a big game last night, and we have more on that on sports. What is going on Liberty North and welcome back to VP Sports. I'm Jordan Vega. And I'm Peyton Price jumping right into it. The girls basketball team had senior night on Monday night and they played Raytown and they crushed them in an impressive win 45 to 13. So a great win for the seniors and a great blowout win overall for our girls basketball team. The guys however they struggled against a tough Raytown team but pulled a win with a Nick Coleman buzzer beater. Final score 57 to 54. Man, that's one heck of a way to close out a close game. Yeah, I was there last night, Jordan. It was definitely an exciting game and, see, and cool to see the team storm the court after they won. Yeah, man. You know, I wasn't there, and that just goes to show you got to be there on every night that guys play because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, and you may have been there on Friday night when the Liberty North basketball team pulled out an awesome win at the Liberty Field House. Harris Myers was with the team all night and captured the win behind the scenes. I can slow you down, you hear me? I can slow you down, but it's really hard to speed you up right now. So push it, be aggressive. When we're feeding the pulse, where do we want to be? Blow the free throw line, pulse, pulse hard, get that backside flash. Make contact on your screens. Make contact on your screens. Secondary actions. When we go pinch, make contact on your screens. When we go box series, make contact on your screens screen just get the mentality going this isn't just something we're going to do tonight we're going to do this the rest of the year because we we guard pretty hard but we're not hard to guard right now we need to be both we need to guard hard and be hard to guard you know the personnel make sure you got it and i talked to you guys about this yesterday there's a difference there's a difference and and if you can change the width to a four and you play for each other good things are going to happen you guys watch any games this week on tv you watch Monday, who played Monday, Big Monday, you remember? Yeah. KUK State, right? KUK State played Monday. I mean, that place is, is nuts. And, and there's people who are thinking, man, how awesome would that be to play? And then last night, who plays? Duke Carolina, right? Everybody's there now. Mind you, uh, the same official who called the KUK State game also got to call the Duke Carolina game. So it's a pretty good week for Roger Ayers. If you're him, get to go around and call the games as an official. So. Um, not a bad life right there. Um, but when you watch those games, don't you think, God, that's awesome. Man, that looks fun. Well, here it is for you. Here it is for you. And I'm not telling you this because it's, it's anything but the truth, but you're good enough to go win. And you deserve to go win. You deserve to go win. Play for each other. Play for the people in this room, all the effort, all the work that you've put into it. Have fun tonight. Execute your stuff, be physical, be the more aggressive team. Tougher team's gonna win. Tougher team's gonna win. I've talked to you about toughness all year, right? Tough times, we've had a lot of tough times. Tough times, they'll go away. Tough people stay. Be the toughest people we got tonight. All right, let's go. Let's go, don't let them go. Ben down there, one, two, three.
on three. One, two, three. Hey, hey. Hey. We were the tougher team that half. I want to make sure it happens this half. They're frustrated. Thank you to Harris Myers for that cool video. It's definitely a cool behind the scenes look that we got to see of our basketball team that we never get to see before. And I think it definitely gets me excited for Friday night. Yeah, me too. Wrestling is, and swim state sendouts are going to be later this week. We'll have more on that in tomorrow's show. Quick shout out to my biggest fan, Jordan Till. It's his last day here at North. Hope it's a good one. This has been another dope edition of VP Sports. I'm Jordan Vega. And I'm Peyton Price. Have a great Wednesday, Eagles. We want to give a big shout out to Harris Myers for making that amazing video on the Basketball Boys. You can find that video on our YouTube channel or on Harris's Twitter, so be sure to show him some love as well. We will be back here tomorrow matching, of course, for Squad Day. Please stand and join us for the pledge, but until tomorrow, we will catch, catch you on, on the North, north side. side. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.